Michigan's economic recovery has been a slow one, but there is progress. How does the rest of the country view Michigan and what we have in terms of a good business climate and a skilled workforce? Well, let's get a frank assessment from our roundtable. Business leaders from Michigan CEO Doug Rothwell, the CEO of Strategic Staffing Solutions Cindy Paskey, and the CEO of the Detroit Regional Chamber Sandy Barua. We're down to what? Unemployment below the national average? I mean, when was the last time that happened? Uh, we've regained about a third, half to two thirds of all the jobs we lost during that you know, awful decade of the 2000s. We've got an auto industry that is you know, going on steroids right now. I mean, they're just growing so fast, which is our signature industry in the state. So, I mean, I think you got to feel pretty good overall about where we are. Cindy, from your vantage point, what do you, how do you feel? Oh, I think we've, we're certainly in a better place. Detroit's certainly in a better place, but we still have a fair amount of work to do. You know, in the S3 world, with where we are around the world, I'm traveling all the time. Um, so one of the ways I measure that is the questions that I receive about our city. And now it's, should we invest? What other industries could we do? Can we come and see what's going on? A much different set of questions than we had six years ago. Yeah, you know, it's interesting, because my next question was going to be, what's the perception? of not only Michigan right now, but of Detroit. But what, why don't you go ahead and give us an idea? You know, it's absolutely different. It's um, the, the stories and the interest are, this is, this is a place for entrepreneurs to be. Um, this is a place that has now stellar political leadership. Um, that has opportunities, that housing is available, land is available, but in a good way. Um, and that that's what we need, right? I mean, look at this, if you, you know, I read five newspapers every single day, and I always have, and they're actually real papers. Um, but if you run the headlines every single day, Financial Times, Wall Street Journal, um, and look at what's actually being said about our state, and, and then of course for me about our city, Detroit, it's night and day from six years ago, night and day. Sandy, what's your impression of where we are right now? So I think Michigan and the city of Detroit gets the award for the most improved. I mean, because when you consider where we were a decade ago, or frankly even five years ago, to where we are today, uh, to really uh, expand on Doug's points, we are tremendously in better shape. However, we have some red flashing lights. Uh, it's almost like the things that we need to do going forward are going to be even more difficult to resolve than the issues we resolved over the last six years. We have to solve our educational challenge in the state of Michigan. That's both K through 12 and in higher ed. I and mean, this is something that uh, Doug and I have worked on uh, quite a bit, uh, but particularly Business Leaders from Michigan is really focused on the, the challenge we have in higher ed funding. We need more of our Michigan folks to get some sort of higher degree. It doesn't have to be a four-year college degree, as important as that is, but a two-year associate's degree, a highly skilled certificate like a nursing certificate or a welding certificate. Best in class regions across the world have roughly 60% of their population that fall into one of those three categories. Right now, we're at about 36% in the Detroit region. We need to, we need to be, do a lot better. So Doug, what are, what are business leaders telling you about in terms of education programs here and also job training skills for to be able to fill the jobs that they have? Well, just what Sandy said. I mean, the reality is we're creating a lot of these jobs, but we don't necessarily have the talent that we need to fill them all. And our worry is, is that will we be able to continue to fill those jobs in the future if we don't do what Sandy just mentioned, is to produce more talent with the right education and training that we need. Our message is, look, don't stop your education after high school, continue it. Let's make sure that we get more kids to come to school in Michigan so that we correct some of the demographic challenges we have as a state that's getting older. Um, and let's do more to make sure that it's a priority in the budget to keep it affordable for kids to be able to get this education. 